video, I'd like to talk about the phylum Nadarians. Nadarians are invertebrates that are famous for stinging cells, and they have radial symmetry. Let's take a look at probably the most famous Nadarian, the jellyfish. Nadarians are famous for their sting. However, some do have a sting in which they inject venom, and others entangle their prey with sticky hairs or tentacles. Here's what a harpoon would look like from a Nadarian with a stinging cell. There are two main types of Nadarians. The Medusa have their tentacles hanging down. Let's take a look at a Medusa. which the tentacles are facing upward. The sea anemone is the most famous here. Nadarians move by jet propulsion inside their bell. And what happens is, is that it allows them to propel themselves forward. Not real fast, but it works. Sea anemones. Olives can move also. They move very slowly over the rocks, or they may move with a wiggle with their base. Take a look at this example. Nadarians do not have a central nervous system, but they do have a very crude nervous system or a nervous net. Nadarians can reproduce both sexually and asexually, and with asexual reproduction, they bud or they divide into a new organism. Here's an example of one life cycle. There are your Nadarians, the stinging or sticky animals. They sometimes run your visit to the math and science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the phylum echinoderms. Echinoderms belong in the animal kingdom. They are organisms found in the ocean and most of the time on the bottom of the ocean floor. Let's take a look at the five main groups of echinoderms. All echinoderms have a radial symmetry, and they usually have five or more arms. They don't have a heart, a brain, or even eyes. Their mouth is generally found underneath, and their anus is found on top. They have suction pads on their extremities. Let's take a look at these. Echinoderms do have the ability to move, and they move in various ways. Most are carnivores, and they feed on sponges and other mollusks. But many are scavengers, and some are decomposers. Many echinoderms can regenerate their limbs. And finally, 
They reproduce both sexually and some reproduce asexually through fragmentation. Echnoderms, a pretty cool phylum. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.